We've been talking about Music City and some of the great places to see and things to do there. One of the newest museums pays tribute to a man whose music career spanned more than five decades and included a long list of hit records. Brad Bulla takes us inside the popular George Jones Museum in downtown Nashville. He stopped loving her today. With one of the most distinctive voices in country music, George Jones created a legacy that has seldom been matched. Now a museum full of artifacts from his life, both on and off the stage, celebrates and pays tribute to the legend known as the Possum. He stopped loving her today. The museum is something in here that I collected 32 years ago. I started collecting everything I could find on George Jones because I, you know, someday I wanted to do a museum. But George is like, oh, honey, you don't want to do a museum. Ain't nobody going to come see that. Because George was the type that never realized that he was a legend. Because whenever he was dying, I said, I'm going to do my museum because, you know, you're, you're an icon, you, you're a legend. And he's like, Honey, I can't even spell that word, much less you to go do that. But he did give me the blessing on this. Located in the heart of downtown Music City, the museum's exhibits showcase George Jones' award-winning musical career and also reflect his personal struggles. In here, I wanted them to learn things that they didn't know about George and things that uh, they do know about George put a little more history into it. So there's a lot of little things in here that's very special. I mean, George never let anything be a secret about his life. He, I think that's why he had so many fans. Displays of gold and platinum albums, stage outfits, family photos, and even the legendary John Deere garden tractor are just a few of the highlights of the museum. And as visitors take a journey from the day George was born to reading the remembrances after his passing, his many musical hits will be playing along the way. Fans will be likely to come across Nancy, George's widow, in the museum, visiting with guests. It means a lot to me uh, if you can watch them when they come in because they love George Jones and they love true country music. The museum's open from 10 to 10. You can get your armband, you will be able to stay as long as you want up here. You can also leave and come back and you can go down and eat. We have a wonderful restaurant that does overlook the Cumberland River also, but you, there's so many things to do here and we have family here. So that's, that's one thing that I wanted and to keep that going is to have family here and let them all have enjoy and have a good time and get on the rooftop. So plan a visit to the George Jones Museum. Have a sip of White Lightning and get a personal look into one of the most storied entertainers in country music history. Shoot you, yeah, tell them to come on, we'll have a blast and I'll be here to greet them. In downtown Nashville, White Lightning. I'm Brad Bullifor, NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman.